In this episode, we will remove the rotor from the housing and we are going to tear out the leaking seal. In the previous episode, I broke off three tabs that disappeared in this hole over here. I thought it would be uh, in the cooling system. That's not true. This breather actually uh, breathes the air volume around the inverter. So we're good. I actually found one of the tabs in here. Next, we remove the six metric 10 millimeter bolts from the coolant manifold. They are torqued with only four newton meter. The bolts are out, the two long bolts are at the bottom, the short ones at the top. Next we're going to take a pry bar, put some uh, tape on the end, and we're going to try to pry it off. There it goes. Oh, oh, coolant. Well, it's loose. Okay, we continue with the plastic pry bar. Oh, yeah. There it is. Some more coolant. Uh, hmm. And that's maybe the leaky seal. Next, we're going to remove this cap over here. A bunch of bolts M13 fixed with. 16 newton meter, 16. I want to remove this cap in a controlled manner. So there's a face right here against which, which we can push. And I have this old nail and we can push that like this. And then on this side I have a bunch of pieces of wood. And then I can put a crowbar between these two surfaces and uh, hopefully push it off. crowbar did not work then I use this uh, hydraulic jack it has to be uh, vertical like this otherwise it doesn't work I put the uh, the sharp edge uh, on the little uh, surface I showed before and I'm pushing against a cast piece of aluminum I jacked it up and uh, it popped right off so that's good here you see the surface again it's a bit damaged here you see the sharp edge put on there okay plastic tools are just not strong enough they damage so I just use some uh, some metal tool with some uh, protective tape over it multiple layers now when I take this back it already scoots out the entire rotor so it, yeah Let's just scoot it out. So now we can see all the gunk inside of the rotor housing. Some gunk on the rotor. There's more over there. And then inside of the housing, there's some. Uh, some more debris. It's not clean for sure. So we have to clean it out. Also, we see that there is no Aegis ring in this motor. It's another method to get the reluctor wheel off. It's very reluctant to get off. <laughs> so we'll just hammer the uh, the shaft. All right, it moved already half a millimeter, so let's continue. And there it is off. Very nice. The reluctor wheel, victory. Next, I'm cleaning the uh, rotor with uh, some acetone. Cleaning up the stator as well. Uh, tearing off the excess liquid seal the solidified there a lot of it this is the leaky seal we are going to dremel it out with a grinding wheel
Okay, I took a smaller grinding disc with a Dremel and I was grinding from the middle all the way to the outside until I almost hit the aluminum, so I have to be very careful. And uh, with pliers, uh, oh, I was trying to tear it out and finally now it's, it's coming loose. But it's not easy. Ah, there we go. There's the seal, or what's left of it. Single lip seal. Now my mechanical expert friend John told me that a more controlled way to get this seal out would be to apply hydraulic pressure, for example, through this hole, while closing off this hole and this hole and the hole in the middle, for example, by putting it into the rotor. And then the hydraulic pressure would uh, hopefully uh, push out the seal just like that. So I did not do that. <laughs> 